Renewable power is booming, as innovation brings down costs and starts to deliver, on the promise of a clean energy future. Hydropower is the largest renewable energy source, for electricity in every country, though, wind energy is soon expected, to take over the lead, like for example, American solar and wind generation, are breaking records, and being integrated into the national electricity grid, without compromising reliability. This means, renewables are increasingly, displacing, dirty, fossil fuels, in the power sector, offering the benefit of lower emissions of carbon, and other types of pollution. What exactly is renewable and non-renewable energy? A renewable energy source, means, energy that is sustainable, something, that can't run out, or is endless, like the sun. When, you hear the term, alternative energy, it's usually, referring to renewable energy sources, too. It means, sources of energy, that are alternative, to the most commonly used non-sustainable sources, like coal. Renewable energy, often referred to as clean energy, comes from natural sources, or, processes that are constantly replenished, which includes solar, hydro-wind energy, tidal energy, geothermal energy, and biomass energy. And non-renewable energy includes, coal, gas and oil. Most cars, trains and planes use non-renewable energy. They are made, by burning fossil fuels to create energy. As the world shifts, towards renewable power, India has also ramped up, its renewable power generation capacity. The Indian government, set a target of 450 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity, by 2030. For comparison, the country's total energy generation capacity, today is about 380 gigawatts, out of which 90 gigawatts, are of renewable energy, not including large hydropower stations. Indian renewable energy sector is the fourth most attractive renewable energy market in the world. India was ranked fifth in wind power, fifth in solar power and fourth in renewable power installed capacity. Installed renewable power generation capacity has gained pace over the past few years, posting a compound annual growth rate of 17.33% between financial year 2016 to 2020. With the increased support of government and improved economics, the sector has become attractive from investors' perspective. As India looks to meet its energy demand on its own, which is expected to reach 15,820 terawatt hour by 2040, renewable energy is set to play an important role. The government is aiming to achieve 227 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity, including 114 gigawatt of solar capacity addition, and 67 gigawatt of wind power capacity, by 2022, more than its 175 gigawatt target, as per the Paris Agreement. Market size of India India's renewable energy sector, is expected to attract investment, worth 80 billion United States dollars, in the next four years. As of November 30, 2020, the installed renewable energy capacity stood at 90.39 gigawatts, of which solar and wind comprised 36.91 gigawatts and 38.43 gigawatts, respectively. Biomass and small hydropower constituted 10.14 gigawatts and 4.74 gigawatts, respectively. By December 2019, 15,100 megawatts of wind power projects were issued, of which, projects of 12,162 megawatts capacity, has already been awarded. Power generation, from renewable energy sources in India reached 127.01 billion units, in financial year 2020 with a potential capacity of 363 gigawatts, and with policies focused on the renewable energy sector, Northern India is expected to become the hub for renewable energy in India. Some initiatives by Government of India to boost India's renewable energy sector are as follows. The government is committed to increased use of clean energy sources, and is already undertaking various large-scale sustainable power projects and promoting green energy heavily. 
In December 2020, SJVN Limited, a public sector undertakings, under Ministry of Power, entered into a memorandum of understanding with Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited. A public sector undertakings, under Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, to provide its services to SJVN for green energy projects. SJVN is developing 100 MW Dolera Solar Power Project and 100 MW Rahanzada Solar Power Project in Gujarat. In November 2020, Ladakh got the largest solar power project set up under the central government's Make in India initiative at Leh Indian Air Force Station with a capacity of 1.5 MW. The project namely, provision of solar photo, voltaic power plant has been completed within 12 months, before the completion deadline of March 31, 2021. On November 17, Energy Efficiency Services Limited, a joint venture of public sector undertakings, under the Ministry of Power and the Department of New and Renewable Energy, signed a Memorandum of Understanding to discuss rollout of India's first convergence project in the state of Goa. It is the country's first project to generate green energy for rural and agriculture consumption in the state of Goa and is in line with the International Solar Alliance, a Government of India initiative. In October 2020, the government announced a plan to set up an inter-ministerial committee under Niti Aayog to forefront research and study on energy modelling. This, along with a steering committee, will serve the India Energy Modeling Forum, which was jointly launched by Niti Aayog and the United States Agency for International Development. In August 2020, the government announced plans to offer land near its ports to companies for building solar equipment factories. India plans to add 30 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity along a desert on its western border, such as Gujarat and Rajasthan. In November 2020, Sun Source Energy announced that it will develop a 4 MW grid connected floating solar PV power project. Along with a 2 MW battery energy storage system in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which was won in a tender bid with the Solar Energy Corporation of India. Once commissioned, it will be one of India's largest floating plus storage project in Andaman, which will in turn will reduce the existing reliance on diesel. The project will be situated at the reservoir of Kalpong River, Kalpong Hydroelectric Project Dam in North Andaman. In November 2020, the Airports Authority of India signed a Memorandum of Understanding with NTPC, Vidyut Vyapar Nigam, an NTPC subsidiary, to promote use of electric vehicles and set up solar power plants at its airports. In October 2020, Patel Engineering announced that it has won an order worth $211.15 million to build 2,000 MW Sabansiri Lower Hydroelectric Project in Arunachal Pradesh. The Adani Group aims to become the world's largest solar power company by 2025 and the biggest renewable energy firm by 2030. The assets of Adani Group stands today at over 2.5 gigawatts. This is expected to more than double growth, touching 18 gigawatts by 2025. The Government of India has announced plans to implement a 238 million US dollar national mission on advanced ultra supercritical technologies for cleaner coal utilization and setting up of two centers of excellence on clean coal technologies at US 5 million each. In its quest for cleaner fuels, a national mission on methanol and dimethyl ether is being mounted. A new center on solar photovoltaic, thermal storage, and solar fuels research has been approved at US $5 million. The government is committed to increased use of clean energy sources and is already undertaking various large-scale sustainable power projects and promoting green energy heavily. In addition, renewable energy has the potential to create many employment opportunities at all levels, especially in rural areas. About 5,000 compressed biogas plants will be set up across India by 2023. Biogas is a green energy source in form of electricity and heat for the local grid. The waste can be converted into biofertilizer and spread directly onto fields. 
it have considerable environmental advantages, less emission of the greenhouse gases, like methane, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide. Biogas itself can be used, interchangeably with natural gas, as fuel. Overall it is environmental friendly, recirculation of organic waste, from industry and households. And also reduced costs, for artificial fertilizers. It is expected that by 2040, around 49% of the total electricity, will be generated by renewable energy, as more efficient batteries will be used to store electricity. Which will further, cut the solar energy cost, by 66% as compared to the current cost. Use of renewables, in place of coal, will save 54,000 crore rupees, that is, 8.43 billion United States dollars, annually. Renewable energy will account, for 55% of the total installed power capacity, by 2030. As per the Central Electricity Authority, estimates, by 2029, to 2030, the share of renewable energy generation, would increase, from 18% to 44% while thermal is expected to reduce from 78% to 52%.